This is a jam session where young musicians can learn the ropes and experienced ones can get back to their roots. Crystal Young shows us how Guitar Mash has become the place to jam. Guitar Mash can best be described as a giant public jam session. They happen in small venues like someone's apartment or big ones like City Winery in Soho. Since music is everyone's birthright, no one is excluded from the fun. At a Guitar Mash, we've got beginners next to experts and everyone is together and there's an incredible spirit of generosity that lives at each Guitar Mash. So for me, it's such a joy to be able to give that to the audience. Everyone joins together to make the collective sound. Mark Stewart is the guitarist and musical director for legendary singer Paul Simon, but he also leads every guitar mash. If you can't play guitar, he invites people to come and sing. And he insists if you can make sound, you can make music. You start with three easy sounds that anyone can do. The cork pop, the water drop, and the elephant. Hit it. <laughs> I could do that. And you never know who you'll bump into. Chef Tom Colicchio is a fan. So is Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Brandon Niedauer picked up his first guitar at age eight. Now 12, he's an aficionado and a regular at Guitar Mash. Participating in Guitar Mash makes me feel like I'm in heaven. I mean, all these people around me want to do the same thing that I want to do. And we're all just having a good time and forgetting about all the stress or anything that we could have. Brandon is so good, he can make up a guitar riff on the fly. So I asked him to create a melody just for me. Guitar mashes happen every couple of months, and they're tons of fun. All the information on how to contact them will be on our website. I'm Crystal Young, Fox 5 News.